name is Ruben Morales, and I got to play Jason in a short film, Thursday the 12th. It was pretty cool getting to be in the movie. Um, not often I get to be Jason for, you know, a fan film or anything. And just like prior times that I have done it, it was just, just as fun. It was pretty cool. Um, thankfully, Joshua was really nice, and so were the victims as well, too. Um, they were very friendly. You know, they made me feel just like a part of the crew, you know, and not really knowing them prior, just being messaged by them online. It was pretty cool to just jump right on in. The best part of filming was really just kind of getting to wear the mask again. Um, it had been a little bit before I had put it on for like conventions or anything. So it was nice to have a reason to go out and, you know, do my thing. Worst part of it was really on my my own fault uh, because we were filming at night. I didn't think that you'd be able to see inside of the mask, you know, for the eyes. But turns out, even though it was nighttime, we were using a pretty strong light source. And you can see right into the mask, into the eyes, and see that it's just my normal eye color. Uh, and instead of me being able to, you know, paint my skin a little bit darker like I normally do... Um, that's the one thing that I that really bothers me about it. Plus, like I said, it had been a little bit before, or it had been a little bit since I had put on the mask for something. So Jason had packed on a couple extra pounds around that time. So he looks a little extra plump in the in the movie, but it's all right. You know, it's I still think that it was it was a fun time. I had a good time. Um, I'd be more than happy to come back again. You know, get back into shape and put the mask back on. Filming was really cool. Um, they made me feel just like I was a part of the crew uh, walking in. Uh, I wasn't sure what to expect because Joshua had messaged me online and asked, hey, do you want to be Jason in our short film? And seeing that they normally did scream, you know, Ghostface short films, I wasn't too sure how this would work, but I figured, all right, cool. He seemed, seemed really nice. You know, the script had a pretty good right to the point idea. I liked the script. It was, it was pretty nice, you know, to get, get right to Jason and especially the setup for it. I really liked that of just like, hurry, hurry, hurry. And oops, you didn't make it. That was, that was pretty cool. Um, but when I showed up, it was really dark. It was nighttime already. And I am walking into an abandoned zoo in Griffith Park, which is kind of trippy to go there at night. I hadn't been there many times before. So I wasn't too sure what to expect, especially at night and especially meeting new people. But thankfully, they were really nice. And as I'm walking up from the distance, I could hear them and kind of see them filming. And then they saw me. And from from far away, I just hear them, are you Ruben? Are you our Jason? And I'm like, all right. It, yeah, that's me. And I just waved the machete high up in the air like, yeah, that's me. So it was pretty cool. You know, that, that was a nice like, all right, it's kind of breaking the ice and they were really nice. It was really fun uh, getting to see them film a couple of shots before I got there. Um, there were, you know, some pickups of them running around. You see me in the behind the scenes just kind of sitting there, just waiting. Uh, but then, you know, they got right to me. We filmed the stuff. Everything went really quick. I was able to throw out some ideas. And the shots came out really nice, especially, you know, the reveal of Jason when he walks out. You know, the, the alarm's going off. They, they ran out of time the thudding of the walking up, that sound, that was great. And then just out of the shadows, Jason pops up. Oh, that reveal was pretty sweet. I'm really happy for how that came out. Like, that's my favorite thing from, from that. When we were filming, some random people just kind of were there. They showed up and instead of seeing a guy in a hockey mask clashing two people covered in blood, they ended up coming right up and be like, oh, hey, how you doing? And like, oh, this looks so cool. And you know, they, they were at least cool enough to keep quiet and keep a distance while we were filming the last couple shots. Um, cool thing is the last last shots when you see the car, that's actually my car. Um, because it got extra dark by that point, we needed some light source and it wasn't enough for the little lantern that they had. So thankfully there was a parking structure right there. I was able to park my car, lights facing us, worked out pretty good. So my car even got into the into the short film. I was surprised at how strong Nicole was because each time she had to slam into me from that reveal shot, she had some power behind her. And 
I know she had a couple bruises on her the next day from what I hear and you know I, I, I was a little sore you know I have to admit you know but it was cool and then just never really dragged a body before so when she was just like just just drag me just go go for it go for it I'm like, all right so I grabbed her and just dragged her away and I think she has a scar from that now which is cool so she can say she survived Jason with a scar What's next for Stab movies? I hope they continue and I hope that, you know, they find a, another reason to come back to Crystal Lake because it'd be pretty cool to suit up again for them. I'd be more than happy to. A uh, fun thing was, you know, because they were from the East Coast, I'm from the West Coast, they came and filmed out for here. That was really nice when we were done filming. I think they needed to find an Uber. Uh, they were trying to get an Uber, but because it was so late and so secluded area it was going to take a while so i figured i'll be a nice you know hospitality of la and offer to drive them to their to their place that they were staying at and they were so so cool about it They're like no are you sure are you sure and why not you know show so show some hospitality you know and uh i got to be their uber driver so technically i was an uber jason 